Rigging is one of the hardest stages of any 3D pipeline. It's hard to learn, it's hard to do correctly, and it's necessary for making animations. There have been a lot of tools that have tried to address this problem by simplifying it, like Blender's Rigify add-on, which you can use to generate templates for different characters. These can be then applied to your character and with already IK controls set up for you. The issue with Rigify is though it tries to simplify rigging, it's still also a complicated tool. You have to learn how it works and sometimes it doesn't work as expected. The other options include Mixamo, which I've done a video about and then today I want to introduce you to Acura Rig, which works exactly like Mixamo. In fact, if you know how to use Mixamo, this is going to be very easy for you to learn. The main difference is that this comes in its own package. It's a standalone software that you install on your PC, which I think is an advantage over Mixamo, which is a web-based tool. Uh, that means you have to upload your models every time you want to rig them. Uh, that can take a lot of time. And uh, when you want to use them again, you have to download them again uh, to use the rig. Uh, this one, because you install it on your PC, you just have to load the character and then use the tools to set up your rig. I already have a character in here and you can see they have a library of poses and animations that you can test out to see if your character has rigged correctly. It's, it's similar again to Mixamo. Let's do a full review of this application and how you can get it, how to use it. To download it, you're going to go to actorcore.realillusion.com slash auto rig and i will get to this page i'm going to be leaving a link in the description you can just click on the free download here it's of course free they also use the same dot placement uh, for placing joints uh, like mixamo uh, again like i said if you have used mixamo before if you know how mixamo works this is basically a clone of mixamo but on your desktop instead of being on the web uh, which has some advantages the installation process is very straightforward you might have to sign in to start using the application but uh, the sign up process is free you don't have to pay anything this is what the application looks like when you start working and you can see the different poses uh, that you can work with uh, it also supports multiple uh, meshes so if your character has maybe an axe has uh, like in the example here it, it supports that as well importing or loading your character the object has to be an fbx object or an obj object or you can download one from sketchfab i'm just going to jump in here and uh, select a few of the uh, characters sample characters that come with the application itself so um, let me select this pit guy and uh, just load in in uh, the loading process is very very fast as you can see and uh, so after you import in the character you need to align this line here place it in the center or in the symmetry line of your character so that the application can correctly rig your character using symmetry you also have these rotation options in case your character is rotated wrong uh, you can try and rotate them correctly you also have this center line again it controls the line of symmetry uh, for your character just going to leave it at 50 percent let me reset and uh, just have it like that so if you want to rig your character and uh, your character is set up to have symmetry if he's asymmetrical meaning that maybe he doesn't the character doesn't have a hand or the side is different uh, from the left to from if the left side is different from the right side maybe they have uh, i don't know maybe an axe or something you don't want to use force symmetry otherwise it will I mess up the rig so since our character is symmetrical we can use for symmetry and uh, they, the character doesn't really have to be perfectly symmetrical as you can see that uh, if you look at the this symmetry line uh, the noise is a bit on the left which doesn't matter most of the character is symmetrical the advantage with this is that after you rig this character you can always come back and tweak the rig a bit or to adjust the rig so I'm going to come in here and I hit rig that should evaluate the body uh, and start adding points uh, you can see those familiar points if you have used mixamo and uh, when you select them they can they just indications where the uh, armature or joints are going to be placed on your character and you can move them around and uh, because we have symmetry turned on when i move the left points uh, the right points will also uh, move if you don't have the force uh, symmetry on uh, then you can move them independently each point to select will also you can see the name of that joint and you can even switch between uh the the points uh, that like that and, uh, now i can move this around place them where 
you expect the character to be now the next part is just to rig the fingers it will ask you how many fingers you have how many fingers your character has if your character goes above five fingers you might run into an issue but so let's go next and this will also start optimizing uh, the rig uh, to account for our fingers let's rig them up takes a few seconds to complete Okay, now we are done with rigging the fingers. You can see it's pretty accurate, but uh, in case it's not, you just have to move these points around around until they align with where you expect our fingers to be. And uh, I think it has done a good job. Uh, we only have to focus on the one side of uh, the character since this is symmetrical. If it was not symmetrical, if you chose not to add symmetry, uh, then that means that uh, you'd also have to work on the left hand or the right hand we can do a finalize and this will just start adding uh, the skin weights and everything and okay so now that uh, our character has already been rigged you can see how uh, they're being animated and you can start checking if everything has been paused correctly uh, by uh, clicking on some of these preview motions uh, that we have here you can click on this and uh, just look at the t-pose can test out different animations uh the controls for your wall is right drag to pan and uh, left drag to orbit around your scene uh, you can zoom in using by holding down your middle mouse wheel and uh, you can reset the camera by just hitting the reset button here uh, you can check out the hands uh, by just clicking on these and again you can focus using the zoom mouse here let's see if the hands have rigged correctly i think that's good enough for me Check out different walk cycles. Yeah, and I think this is pretty good. Now to use this character in Blender, all we have to do is just go to export and you can select the format. I'm just going to select FBX, uh, select Blender, and uh, then I can also, they also give you an option to uh, to select the, the maximum text size. Uh, it doesn't matter right now, but uh, I'm just going to also embed the texture so that I don't have to set up the materials again. I'll then hit export. I will just go onto my desktop, create a new folder, and just uh, call it, uh, let's say, one, two, three, and hit export. It's a pretty quick uh, for exporting. And uh, now we can come in here come into blender go to file ex import fbx i save this on my desktop uh, three and then i can just import in uh, the character and you see we're good can go to my viewport view display and just can see now i can easily animate this So like Mixamo AccuRig comes with its own library and uh, you can access it by just clicking this, this plus icon. Uh, this will link you to their store, their asset store. They have a lot of animated uh, library. I, th I think this is a motion capture animation. You have to buy these, but uh, they also have some free assets. But uh, their library, their free library is a bit is a bit limited com uh, compared to the Mixamo library. They don't have as many animations as Mixamo. So that's something you might want to know. If you select the animation you want, so select, so let's say this, you can click download, export motion only because we don't need the character we already have our own character i can select the character you want i go to next and uh, then you can select uh, the value the target and go of course i'm going to use blender uh if you select zero root zero root motion that means that the character where if it's if the character is running they'll stay in one place instead of running forward on an axis you will just animate the forward move movement yourself uh but uh Compared to Mixamo, again, their library is a bit limited. Uh, their free library is a bit limited. Uh, they don't have as many uh, character, uh, as many animation. And uh, another advantage to Mixamo is that uh, they also come with a lot of uh, characters uh, that you can choose from. Let's go back to Blender and import in the animation. Uh, the animation comes in as a zip file, so you might want to uncompress it. Uh, so I'm just going to select this, uh, extract all, have it here. Now you can see this is our animation and because i i turned off zero root motion uh the animation is in one place it doesn't uh, the character doesn't move forward uh, to have this animation onto the character all you have to do is just 
select the original rig and then the new rig and then use Control L link animation data and you can see now everything works as expected you have your animation imported yeah the disadvantage with this is that uh, i think uh, this rig doesn't work with uh, any other uh, animation library so for example if i wanted to import in a character uh, from mixamo uh, it will not be able to work with uh, this uh, this rig i think that's going to be it uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next uh, video